Dear Dads, I am going to tell you something I wish someone had told my father when I was born. Please listen closely. Please don't constantly tell your children about their imperfections and issues. Don't obsess over the things they need to work on or that you want them to quote-unquote fix. Don't obsess over their quote-unquote problems as you view them, and don't pressure them to overwork themselves in order to fix them. Mind you, I am not saying to not punish or discipline them for doing something wrong. Doing that is important. And I'm not saying not to work with them on improving their skills. If you help them with or talk to them about something they're passionate about, you are more likely to get through to them than if you lecture them. If you speak with them about school, work, hobbies, or the future positive topics, the two of you will be closer and have a healthier, better relationship. You will find, when doing this, that your child will be more receptive and willing to talk when something is wrong. Dads, do something mine didn't. As your child ages, go out of your way to be involved. Find what they are passionate about and do what you can to learn about it and be supportive. Don't bring up sensitive things when they're hesitant or tired. Engage them during times in which they're wide awake and comfortable being around you. Ask them to teach you what you don't know about their passion. Make and eat dinner with them and talk to them about their dreams and what steps they can take to achieve them. Don't push your passions on them. If they're interested, sure, talk to them about it, show them what you know and do. But if they aren't, don't pressure them. You may be the adult, but that does not mean you always know best. Let them decide who they want to be. Be willing to compromise and talk, not just fight. Don't let whatever big fights you have stagnate, and don't throw a fit when they screw up. Instead, stay calm and talk to them about what's going on, why they did what they did, and why it was wrong. Then work out how to fix it together and encourage them to follow that plan. Yes, there will be days when it all gets to be too much for one or both of you, and that's okay, but you need to remember that they are your kid and you love each other no matter what. Your child does not need someone to constantly push them all the time. If you do that, you'll end up pushing them over the edge. Be their number one fan, their supporter, and their parent, not just a hard ass that can't understand their kid or their kid's passions. Sincerely, a child whose father pushed her over the edge way too many times.